I'm Jill from thecarefreekitchen.com and today I'm going to be making some amazing creamy delicious garlic parmesan mashed potatoes. So to get started on these mashed potatoes, I'm going to wash and cut up five pounds of red potatoes. And when you're washing your potatoes, you just wanna put them under some warm water and then use your hands to really wash them and get any dirt clods off. And then I'm going to cut them up into one inch size pieces. So I'm making some rustic mashed potatoes. So I'm leaving the skin on these red potatoes because I want a little bit of that skin in my mashed potatoes, but you can peel them if you or your kids don't like that. I am also using red potatoes, but you can use russet potatoes or yellow Yukon potatoes. Those work great too. Okay, now I'm going to put about a tablespoon of salt on top of these potatoes and then fill it with hot water until it's just above the line of the potatoes and then I'm going to boil them. All right, the potatoes have come up to a boil and now we're just going to let them boil for about 15 to 20 minutes or until when I stick a fork in there, it comes out clean and doesn't lift the potato up. Okay, it looks like our potatoes are done. If you stick a fork in them and they break apart, then they are done cooking. So that is what I mean by fork tender. And um, these potatoes are all ready to go. I'm just going to turn this off and then go strain them. All right, now I'm going to add them back to the pan. And then while they're hot, I'm going to add three tablespoons of butter. All right, so to these potatoes, I'm also going to add about two thirds cup sour cream. I'm just going to guess on that. And about a half a cup of Parmesan cheese. Just sprinkle that on top. And then I'm also going to add about a teaspoon of garlic powder. All right, and then to this, I'm just going to mash this, and it can actually be kind of a rough mash. And also, I forgot this, um, I'm gonna add a tablespoon of salt, and I would suggest putting about a tablespoon in and then mashing your potatoes up, and if you need more, you can always add more, but it's really hard to calm the salt down if you add too much. So, about a tablespoon of salt, and then about a half a cup of milk. then mash it up. And you only want to mash your potatoes just enough. Don't over mash your potatoes or they can develop kind of a gluey texture. So do it only enough to get the creaminess you are looking for. All right, so I have my potatoes all mashed and the way that I like to serve them up, I like to just get big scoopfuls and put it in the bowl. Get a nice big bowl of mashed potatoes and then I like to make a little well and add just a little bit of butter there. All right, now it's time to taste these amazing mashed potatoes. These are honestly one of our favorite things to make at our house, and my kids actually love them with gravy or without gravy. They're the perfect side to any meal. Mm. I mean, so good. It has just the right amount of Parmesan. You can taste that cheesy flavor, and then also just the right amount of garlic. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of The Carefree Kitchen. And if you guys would like a printable copy of the recipe, you can use the link in the description box below. Go to thecarefreekitchen.com and print it out and make it for your family tonight. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Be sure to follow me on social media and I'll show you all kinds of delicious and easy meals your family will love. We'll see you next time. Bye. So these mashed potatoes are perfect for Sunday pot roast and if you don't know how to make a Sunday pot roast I have an amazing recipe and I'll put a link down in the description box below. Mm -hmm.